Welcome back guys. Today we will be creating a roadmap for those who want to learn malware analysis. Malware analysis is a fascinating and crucial skill in cybersecurity. It involves examining malicious software to understand its behavior, purpose, and potential impact. Becoming a skilled malware analyst creates huge career advantage and allows you to take on job roles such as malware analyst, which usually pays very well. All right, so the first step is learning cybersecurity essentials and foundations. Familiarize yourself with general cybersecurity concepts such as threats, vulnerabilities, common malware types such as viruses, worms, ransomware, trojans, and of course, let's not forget networking fundamentals such as TCP IP, DNS, HTTP, HTTPS, and firewall basics. You can learn all that and get certified by passing CompTIA Security Plus because it's the global standard for entry-level cybersecurity roles. All right, the next step in your malware analysis study plan is learning programming languages. Develop a working knowledge of at least one programming language. You see, without programming language, you will not be able to fully understand the malware behavior on a low level. Therefore, the ability to read, interpret, and analyze code is a must in malware analysis. For starters, you can learn one object-oriented language and one scripting language at a time. For example, you learn C language to analyze the malware source code. Assembly language is for reverse engineering and analyzing executables. And as a scripting language, we have Python language, which can be used to automate repetitive tasks and create scripts that extract important artifacts and indicators of compromise from malware samples and viruses. Okay, so far you have gone a long way in understanding cybersecurity foundations. You may now have CompTIA Security Plus and you have familiarized yourself with programming language. That's a big step. But that's not all. You also need to dive deep into the structure and behavior of Windows and Linux operating systems so that you know where to look within the OS for indicators of compromise. For example, in Windows OS, focus on processes, threads, memory management, registry, and file systems. In Linux OS, concentrate on file system structure, commands, cron jobs, and permissions. Okay, now you may be wondering where you should learn all of this. Beside the free tutorials on YouTube, I recommend reading Practical Malware Analysis book by Michael Sikorsky. Additionally, TryHackMe is a great platform to learn every single subject in cybersecurity, including malware analysis. You can take advantage of learning paths that offer a certificate of completion at the end. Hack the Box is another great platform to learn cybersecurity. You can enroll in Introduction to Malware Analysis course that is part of Hack the Box Academy. Additionally, Hack the Box offers tailored challenges for malware analysis that you can also solve to improve your skills. Now that you have all the basics to start analyzing malware samples, it's time now to set up a safe analysis environment by creating your own virtual lab. You can create a virtual lab by installing virtualization software like VMware or VirtualBox to create isolated virtual machines and choose Windows or Linux, or you can create two virtual machines for both of them. Next, you want to install the tools used to analyze malware samples. As you know, malware analysis is a two-stage process, first of which is the static analysis. Static malware analysis tools include hex editors, Binwalk, Ghidra, Radar2, PStudio, and many others. The second stage in malware analysis is the dynamic analysis. Dynamic malware analysis tools include Process Monitor, Process Explorer, RegShot, and many others. Additionally, you can perform both dynamic and static analysis using online sandboxes. One of the trusted online sandboxes you can use is AnyRun. In AnyRun, you can analyze malware samples, URL samples, and you can even use their safe browse feature to open URLs in real time. You can start your analysis by supplying the URL or the malware sample, choose your operating system, and then you can run the analysis. For example, if you are using a Linux sandbox, you can benefit from file events tracking, improved process tree, and real-time file uploads. Additionally, you can export and create reports in various formats, including Styx report. Styx is a standardized language that facilitates consistent and machine-readable sharing of cyber threat intelligence. 
Another cool feature I found is the ability to run threat intelligence campaigns and using MITRE ATT and CK Matrix and any run will look up the hash or IP you provided in its huge database that contains detection capabilities, updated signatures, expanded Yara rules in addition to heuristic and proactive phishing detection. You will get a report detailing the indicators of compromise and you can also get notifications receive timely updates by clicking on subscribe. All right, now that you have gone so far in your malware analysis learning journey, you can now start learning advanced subjects such as obfuscation and packing techniques. Malware often uses packers or encryption to avoid detection. Therefore, you can practice unpacking malware with tools like Detected Easy to uncover whether the malware sample is packed or not. Another aspect of malware analysis is reverse engineering. In reverse engineering, you examine the CPU instructions the malware executes. You can use tools such as Ghidra or Radar2 to achieve that. Check out the tutorials on my channel to learn more about reverse engineering. And lastly, when you're ready, you can study to become a certified malware analysis professional by passing its practical exam. All right, how long does it take to learn malware analysis so that you can start applying for malware analyst positions? Well, I would say it would take from six months into two years to become fully ready to take on malware analyst positions. Of course, it depends on where you are right now in cybersecurity and your study plan. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments section of this video. Thank you for staying till the end.